In this video, I am going to talk about how to import station offset elevation and description data into Civil 3D and create an accurate surface using this data. So currently in my screen, I have an Excel sheet here. So I have station offset elevation and description data. So you can see on the first so I have the station but the other rows I don't have the station values. First we will see how to populate these values at once using Excel. So first I will select all these value column at once. Then I press F5 on my keyboard. Then I go to special here. Then I use blanks here to fill in these blanks. Click OK then. Then I type equal sign here. Then I select the row above this cell. Actually the cell above this cell to get the value from this cell. I select it. Then while, control, uh, while pressing the control button, I press enter. Control enter. So it will populate all the values uh, with the correct station. So now it is completely filled. So what I do now is I will select all these data except the description, uh, actually the header column, header row. So I copy this. Then I go here and right click and paste special. I am doing this because we have some equations in here. So if you just only paste that one, it will cause problems. So that I will only use paste special option. Then what I do is I will select this column, all column, right click, then go to sort, sort A to Z then it will ask to expand the selection that means select all these things while sorting I click sort so this is kind of a workaround I will tell what is that later so now what I do is I will select this top two I cut it and paste it in the bottom So then I move top and I will select all these LEOP rows, then cut it and I will paste them here, insert cut cells. Then I go to REOP in the same manner, select everything, cut and just below the LOP last data, I will paste this ROP data. So now what I have here is two blank columns. I will delete them as well. So here I have all the center line points. Then I have the LEOP, otherwise left edge of payment. After that, I have right edge of payment, right? So this is our data file. So next what I do is I'll copy all these things, copy all these things, then I move to a uh, text file or a notepad file. Now I have opened a notepad file. So I right click and click paste here, select paste. So then what I do is I will select these tab locations click copy control c then go to edit then replace find what find your tab key or otherwise you can paste it here then replace with a comma so all these tabs will be replaced by a comma now so i click paste all replace all Now all this data has been replaced, the 
spaces or tabs are replaced by a comma now i close this one and go to civil 3d i'll save this and close and go to civil 3d now on my civil 3d i have a alignment so i am going to import this station offset data into this alignment so i have this alignment here i go to home tab points create points on alignment import from file so it is asking for the location so i will select that the file i saved the points or station offset points then i click it and click open so it will ask what is the type of stations you have we had station offset elevation and description which is denoted by 5 here so i have to select 5 here and press enter so it is asking what is what is the delimiter whether it is space or comma so we used comma as the delimiters so i press 2 here then it is asking invalid indicators uh, you don't have to do anything just press enter and it is asking for the offset invalid indicator that is also you have to press enter nothing to enter any values just press enter then it is asked to select the alignment so you need to select this alignment then the points will be imported now you can see now these points are imported uh, onto this alignment so these are cross sectional data now it has been imported correctly so what now, oh now what we have to do is to create the surface from this so when you are creating the surface it is better to have a uh, better surface or accurate surface it is good to have break line data uh, included in these uh, surfaces so in this case we had center line points reop and leop which denotes the left edge of payment and right edge of payments so those uh, things can be considered as break line data so what i do is, do here is i will join the center line points and eop points with uh, 3d polylines so if you move here so you can see cl here 2194 point number then i have 95 then i have 96 and likewise i have up to 2207 this is because of the arrangement i made when i uh, sort the points in the excel that is how i get these numbers in order so i am going from 2194 to 2109 2207 so what i do is i type 3d poly on my command line press enter so it is asking for the start point of polyline so here i will type apostrophe pn to get a p point number and press enter so it is asking what is the point number so i am connecting the point 2194 to 2207 so and then press enter so you will see a line is now connected through these points then i press enter again and press escape twice so now i have a 3d polyline connecting the center line in the same manner i can do the things for leop and reop so leop start from 2208 is 2209 and it goes up to 2221 so in the same manner i will create two 3d pole lines to the left of the center line and to the right of the center line break lines have been included so if you like you can i am just using these polylines but you can assign the 
break line or some kind of layer to these things but i haven't for, uh, included any layer at this moment now what i am going to do is going to create a surface so i right click create surface i would say this is eg and click ok now i am going to add points so it is better to add these points to a point group in the first place so what i do is i select all these i go to new and go to include this numbers matching select in drawing i will select all these points then right click now all the points are selected i will give the group name as survey points and press ok now i will add the point groups to the survey surface click ok now my surface is there there's a duplicate point so i want won't connect now my surface is created to get an accurate surface what i need is a uh, break lines so i will add break lines here and and i will type break lines since my polylines are 3d polylines i will have standard break lines so i click ok and i press this line this line and finally this line as my break lines press enter now i get more accurate surface with the break lines so if i go to here and go with object viewer i will see more accurate road in the middle so this is how you can use a uh, station offset data to import into civil 3d and get a more accurate surface created from points